salute to the Sri Hari, who has no beginning, no end, and no mid-part, who doesn't take birth and who is free from growth and decay. Lord Vishnu, who resides in the heart of us all, is the Supreme Being. Who can teach anybody anything apart from Him? He is the originator of the entire universe. His virtues cannot be described in words. He is the creator of all of us. He is the controller of the breath. Friends, listen to my preaching carefully and don't take it for granted because I have no personal interest in it. Every living being takes birth and suffers a lot while passing his life through childhood, youth and old age. The end result of life is nothing but death. It is one's karma that accompany him birth after birth. But in every birth, this soul mistakes hunger, thirst, cold or hot for the pleasures. More of the luxuries one collects, more the sorrows increases. Attachment and passion are the greatest cause of sorrow. Even after passing a life that is full of sorrow, one suffers the agony of death and rebirth again. This whole cycle continues again and again. Lord Vishnu is the ultimate refuge for the soul. O oh Father, indeed my teachers have taught me in different subjects. I have too learned them with heart. They taught me that diplomatic policies should be applied in order to train friendship. But excuse me, Father, I see no friend or no enemy. So in my opinion, these policies are totally irrelevant. Tell me, O oh Father, what is the use of means when there is nobody to be trained? Lord Vishnu is present everywhere, in you, in me, and in all other creatures. Hence, instead of use in sinisterly actions, one should use his wits for good and benefit of all. O oh, fortunate one, everybody longs for the throne and a big kingdom, but only those attain these things who really deserve and have them in their destiny. Even the most inert and imprudent people who are weak and know nothing about the policies get these things because of destiny. Hence all those who wish for splendor must strive to accumulate pious actions. Those who long for salvation must strive to acquire impartial view for all. Such actions please God, and when He is pleased, all the miseries are attenuated. O oh Lord, I don't want anything other than devotion for you.